Hi Leo, welcome to your reading and this is for Leo Ascendant. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placement in their chart. Jupiter may resonate with the reading. Cross watchers are always welcome. Cross watchers, if I describe someone and you know that it is not you, it is not you. Just because you are connecting with Leo, you're gonna assume that whom I'm describing here is you. Please don't, this is not a personal reading. Um, if you are also new to the channel, welcome. You might want to subscribe to the channel for I am doing a live streaming. If you missed the live streaming, you can still ask me questions. I mean, you can ask me questions. If you missed the live streaming, you can still ask me questions. There's a link in the description box. Click that link. You'll be routed to my page. Type in your questions and then click submit. Leo, you may resonate with the entire reading. You may resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading. I think we have, oh, there's a lot of jumpers here. Here's your overall energy, right? Overall energies, be bold and make the first move. I think uh, that this is more for, let's say, singles, more of the singles, right? Um, especially if you are an, if you're eyeing for a specific person. Let's say that you truly adore the person. This is the first time to i mean this is the time for you to make the first move um initiate you know conversation add them um time for you to if, if you are in separation this is the time for you to make um the first move right um not truly making amends let's say if they are blocked right unblock them wait for them to you know add you back uh, message you again but at least uh, do something, right? Um, especially for those who are separated physically or energetically. Physically, that your person might be in a different city, state, county, country, different continent. You are in a long distance connection. You separated um, time for also kind of like you're opening doors for them that, hey, I am ready to make amends. A jumper here which is the king of pentacles in reverse i think that this is more of you right um because the king of pentacles is very selfish right this is more of it makes sense that's probably why it is in re in reverse now right king of pentacles try to also lower down the pride um king of pentacles is also has a lot of pride right time for you to if you truly want this connection back right if you truly want to um put this connection into another level at least open right uh, an opportunity this is also in reverse six of frogs right this could be a missed opportunity if you won't make a first move here um six of frogs is an announcement it could be an announcement via um verbally or it could be an announcement to the universe or to them that hey i am ready right with the four of swords here i think there is still a lot of questions that needs an answer mental exhaustion um you are resting okay it's understandable if you are not ready yet then do do not do it uh but then again right it's kind of like give them that the idea that i am still recovering i'm still healing from what happened um i think that you are turning your back into this connection right um is it you opening yourself to the universe right um for those of you who wants to okay it, it will be on a different scenario right um, it will be based on your experience. If you truly feel that you needs to go back, uh, needs to turn back into this connection, so by all means, do it with the Eight of Cups, right? Because I can see here that your passion and the Four of Pentacles, for a few numbers of you, you're not really ready. You're closing doors to your significant others, right? Um, if you are really in that position, then do it right with of eight of eight of cups truly turn your back into the connection check what what will going to happen i know that there is still a lot of questions in your head but with the four of cups here 
probably this is the time because I can see here if they are going to initiate a conversation you are still not going to um, give them what they want right um, they truly hurt you probably there's a lot of questions that was not answered like what I mentioned and for you no need to hear the answer well that, that's understandable an option is here the option will always be yours right are you going to give them a chance are you going to you know leave the connection it's really up to you um i can see here that it is actually in your favor with the judgment and the devil card i think that this is more of you because of the anger um, with the judgment here, if you feel a lot of anger, I think that this is the time for you to forgive the person before moving on um, because you might still carry the baggage of this um, negative energies in your journey, right? If you truly want to um, go back to the person, by all means do it as well, right? Remove all those challenges, all those heaviness, right? um loki you are juggling you don't know what to do are you are you going to really move on right with the eight of pentacles you are having a hard time to move on your mind is telling you to move on your heart's telling you to stay um i can see here that there is still some longingness in you right um loki right your 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 soul still um summoning the person right um probably you are also checking the person out with the seven of rods here be very strategic if you want to wait for them while moving on by all means be very strate strategic on how you're gonna do it um because i can see here that your person is also going back right with a desk card um i can see an apology this connection is also leading to or heading towards to another level of commitment um i know that there is a separation physical or energetic here with the three of rods i think that they are just waiting for them for you to open yourself up to them right and i can see your knight of swords so once they know that they are still open in your life they're going to return with the temperance here i think that you are going to test them right you're going to test them um but that's okay right um, what do what's best for you with the temperance here if you truly want to test them and give them another chance by all means do it if you are if this is your way for them to come back checking other people out or opening yourself to other people out by all means do it if you have some questions in this reading there's a link in the description box if you want to book a personal reading there's also a link in the description box you might be connecting with a leo or has a leo placement in their chart or you have a leo placement in your chart pisces or has a pisces placement in their chart or you have a pisces placement in your chart um, Libra or has a Libra placement in their chart or you have a Libra placement in your chart Capricorn or has a Capricorn placement in their chart or you have a Capricorn placement in your chart um, Pisces or has a Pisces placement in their chart or you have a Pisces placement in your chart Scorpio or has a Scorpio placement in their chart or you have a Scorpio placement in your chart Taurus or has a Taurus placement in their chart or you have a Taurus placement in your chart or a Sagittarius or you have a Sagittarius placement in your chart but this is your reading if you resonate with this and you want to go in depth you can book a personal reading with me if you are okay with the reading and you just have a question or two there's a link in the description box click that link you'll be routed to my page type in your questions and then click submit 500 likes for this video and your next video will be a full reading thank you so much for watching Love and light to you. Namaste. See you on the next reading. Goodbye, Leo.